I might have to go do some research. Um, I'm glad it works. So here's so here's here's where we are. Here's what's happening right now. Uh, we're in Mexico. Uh, we are pretty darn south in Mexico. We're by a place called Sidewinder Gulch, where we've done a couple missions. Uh, we are here because I figured I start start tonight off light. Uh, again, it was busy this week. Sorry, I didn't put this in the calendar. Uh, for the Bandito outfit, we need to do all these things which we've already done and search Sidewinder Gulch and find a scrap. It's number one on the list, so one would assume that it's not that tricky, and one would assume if they want it to be devious, it's probably pretty deep in there. It is nighttime, but uh, we will keep our search and goggles on and, and just have a nice leisurely stroll as we all... Uh, wake up or finish work or if you're like me and are in Southern California wrap up the day of Thursday I hope uh, y'all had a jolly time today and you're ready to chase a deer through a canyon and look for a treasure chest that we could have already yeah. run by you never know so we can look like a bandito excuse me deer you haven't seen a treasure chest around here have you should we follow the deer maybe the deer knows this is like No Man's Sky. If I feed the deer, the deer will lead me to rare resources. Uh, there is a camp at the end of the canyon. That's probably a likely suspect. Um, also, you know, never hurts to for one of y'all to maybe take a gander if you got the internet right in front of you. Um, oh, hello. Aztec gold. Somebody I need to talk to down here? Just might be. Ven aquí, señor. Ah, uh, hola. Hola, señor. Ha visto una piedra que parece así. Vaya, que es muy importante. Ah, uh, uh, no. Comprende. Oh, we can use English if you prefer. Or Dutch, maybe. Sorry, you're not feeling well, Tank Master. Yes, no. uh, Wolf English Fox was also uh, was saying, was saying uh, have you seen a rock that looks they were not like feeling well, so I hope you all feel better. A family heirloom left here by hope my uh, if potentially what ails you is not that sure you miss your Red Dead Redemption. Um, my great-grandfather? And you, no. my friend, are in the right place. Great-great-grandfather. Yes. Anyway, a great man. So, he was given a map to a treasure hidden in the hills of Nuevo Paraíso by the Aztecs shortly before... This is somewhat of a surprise already our stream. This is usually when like I stream I said, Red Dead. Great I think man. I've stuck to this. I think and one stream I started at like midnight. He's finding this rock or like 11. Right here. Unfortunately, I am not the great adventurer my abuelo was. I'm having no luck whatsoever. And my wife and children stuck in the capital continue sending me wires asking when am I going to see my puppy again? And I tell them it is Aztec gold, you ungrateful wretches! Aztec gold! What's up, Chumley Kins? What's up, everybody? Young right from wrong. Nothing As always, thank you for tuning in. Yeah, exactly. Hanging out for some Red Dead. Ah, you certainly Top look of the like morning, Toya. the type who can get things done. I would, of course, offer a reward if you would aid me. Actually, we were not properly introduced. Facilio Aguirre Olmos de la Vargas. John Marston. Mm -hmm. Let me see that map. Once you find the missing pieces to the map, meet me back at El Matadero. Sure. I'm not sure if I want to do this. Hey, I don't I remember what you get at the end of this. Probably just a bunch of money. To fame. But interesting Fortune. that... Let's see, what day is it? Uh, yeah, we still have one more Red Dead this month before... Before uh, uh, the month of October. But come the first Thursday in October, we will be playing Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. So, we got that to look forward to. Let's go! Let's go! Can I not climb up that thing? Oh, there we go. Hey! Hey! Fantastic. 
get up. Oh, you can probably right up there. Come on. Very like Dark Souls way of getting over here. There we go. That's not conspicuous at all. Do that. Ouch. <laughs> I bet y'all were thinking I wasn't gonna survive that. Shame on you. Just slide on over here. Like it's no big deal. What? Okay, that time I didn't live. <laughs> but I did start that quest. Cowboy legs of steel. Unfortunately, they don't have torsos of steel. Their boots are real heavy, but... Right. Um, so, yeah, we didn't... We gotta go back to the gulch. Let's go here. I like, because I always play this game at night, I always enjoy when it's nighttime in the game. Definitely brings me into the game. Yeah, I got, I got red dead for a second there. But, shake it off. Got that piece of the map. I'm gonna head to this camp here, which hopefully we'll have it. They say search a place, it's usually like search the encampment within that place. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about the darkness. The darkness, uh, darkness will come. In this game. Boom! Yeah, there you go. I'm happy about that. I didn't want that to take a super long time. I looked at this camp and I just made like a little mental note. Jones, if you don't find it in the next five minutes, move on. <laughs> do, do the next thing on your list. But, uh, there we go. Yeehaw. I can make Marson look like a bandito. Just in time for being done with Mexico. <laughs> uh, I got the California Strangers task, and I got a baller twins gang pound bounty alive. I am not 100% sure where the baller gang hangs out. I thought they hung out in Blackwater, but I guess not. Maybe they hang out on McFarland's ranch? They just never like went and got one? I don't know. We got people playing Destiny. Uh, yeah, I believe I remember being in that area in multiplayer, definitely. Um, nice, Oxfist. Thanks for playing. Baller Twins, man. Where do they hang out? I could look it up, but I just hate looking stuff up. Oh, we can search uh, Sepulcro. Let's do that. Where's that? Down 
this is on arm wrestling. Nice. So there's a Linda. Just a moment. I know you're all yelling at me and telling me where it is, but I'm going to find it before it pops up in chat. There it is. Even fast mower. Evening, everybody. Down the criminals, I don't have time. I certainly do not have time for social club challenges. I got a game to finish. Cactus to run into. Whoa. Alright, I guess I'll just run there. live with that. I think you all can live with that too. Oh hey. Can do a campfire right next to a campfire? No, don't do a treasure map. Stop it. Those are fun though. Uh, it doesn't seem we, we don't seem to be dropping any frames, but let me know if we are lagging. I dearly hope not. We are only 15 minutes into a Red Dead stream. There we go. Good night, no more. Kind of. The game's pretty, but then all of a sudden you're like, oh, yeah, right. Okay, that's what, yeah, that's what, uh, that's what Red Dead looks like. Okay. What would, th what would that be in reference to, Sepulchro? Is there a cemetery or something? Is it here? I guess this. Note this. We will be back here in three weeks when we wrap up. I'm guessing Undead Nightmare is going to take two streams. Um, for the other two, I might just not play Red Dead. I might play some other spooky games. Because I want to play a lot of spooky games in October. Because I like playing spooky games. I want to celebrate... Every year, I want to celebrate uh, Halloween as much as I can. And every year, I'm just no, it's never enough. Like, November 1st, I'm just super bummed. I'm like, ugh. I don't think I did it justice, so. Now that I can stream out of my garage. We'll see. Nope, just knocking crosses over, no big deal. Again, we're looking for a chest that has a costume piece in it. Outfit piece. Whoa, man. I think I got bit. Get off me! Here's the snake. And something jumped up from the ground and bit me. There we go. There's something. Groovy. OK. 
Okay. Complete a horse breaking job in Chuparosa. Complete the love is the opiate strangers task, which I also don't have. Purchase the general store in Escalera. So let's do the horse breaking job in Chuparosa. It's super easy. Shouldn't have said that. Now I'm going to mess it up. Doctor said something about a million dollar wound, but the army must keep that money because I have never seen a penny of that million dollars. I like that movie. I know it's not popular to like that movie. Yay, Pop Fiction. Boo, Forrest Gump. But I like Forrest Gump. Cheesy, 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 cheesy movie, but... Got off spot. Gary Sinise. Excellent in Forrest Gump. Really, really great. Uh, yeah, Luigi's Mansion, uh, I would love to play. That would be a great group stream, potentially. It'd be fun to have, like, at least two group streams in October. It'd be, uh, um, all, you know, fan-picked, or patron-picked, rather. But, all scary games. Uh, I'm a film major, and I guess at the time... Yeah, a lot of people were hating on... Because it beat Pulp Fiction for Best Picture that year. And a lot of people were like... Pish posh. Which, you know... Pulp Fiction holds up. You go back and watch both those movies and... One is emotional and... Is, is, a, is a pretty neat achievement for, for cinema. And the other is a, a pretty darn tight creative movie. We'll leave it up to you to decide which is which. Uh, horse breaking job. That's right. It's over here. Do I have to come back in a little bit? Are you breaking horses at whatever time it is? Uh, where do we get that framed picture of Lemon Clementine? Uh, that we got that at uh, back at Game Trailers. We got that. Um, I think they sent that to a bunch of people. There are a lot of GameSpot shows where you can see that in the background. Um, so Telltale yeah, made that. You want to make some money? Well, yeah, I want to make some money breaking horses, but... Wait, what? Uh, I don't think this guy wants me to break horses. So, yeah, boring answer. Just Telltale made them and, and gave them to uh, Jeremy Hoffman or Jeff Keighley, I think, when they were doing GTTV. No, man, that ain't cool. Yeah, I heard that. Um, okay. Well, this is where it gets done, but maybe they're just not... But usually it says, like, come back at 8 in the morning. Just kick the clock forward a little bit. They show up. <sighs> Until Dawn group stream, yeah. I mean, we already did that. Kind of hard to top the one we already did. So glad Elise was a part of that. So, wouldn't feel right without Elise. Wouldn't be right. What's up, Zen Gamer Max? Howdy! Oh, hey, uh, just for fun. John Marston is a bandito. Kind of fun. Um, I might switch to. Dead Eye Generation twice as fast. I might switch to. Deadly Assassin now that I'm in Blackwater. Just kind of the eye patch is a little much. <laughs> the cutscene is like. I don't know. Eye patch. Um, I do love the trench. The duster. The poncho is fun, but. We only have one undiscovered one, huh? Oh, no, two. One, two, three, four. Never mind. Five. We have a couple we haven't found. Um, in California, we don't know. We're going to do a horse-breaking job. 
Let's get back to cowboy outfit. MCRMJ. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll save it, why not? Time still. There we go. Ah, bright sunny day. Hopefully, I can break some horses. There we go. Horsey sign. Woo! Oh, totally. Marzen just kind of, like, collapses on the bed and passes out in, like, five minutes. Eh, it's a little later than noon. It's north, and, uh... Actually, no, it's earlier. Yeah, it's, like, nine? We just gotta do the horsey thing. Just, you know, wiggle a little bit this way, wiggle a little bit that way. Whenever you ready. Be like, hey horse, calm down. Calm down, horse. Hey horse. Just chill out. Whoa. Come on, baby. Calm down. <laughs> Vo in this game is pretty good. I have all the different things this actor had to do. Relax, what am I doing now? You're on a horse. Oh no! Well, that's what happens when that happens. Try this again. Maybe it's been a while. I got you. Yeah, don't take off now. Calm down now. I'm Maybe I can't out. horse break like I thought I could. You basically have to get on the side that you're like, like you don't want to be on the side you can see. You know, it's like you want to be on the, on the other side. Third time's a charm. It made a little money, too. Our pocket has definitely gotten a little lighter, but we uh, bought some fancy guns in Blackwater. Bought a uh, piece to get an outfit there. All right, all right, all right. Okay, um, anything else worth doing? We still don't know where the bollard guys are. Um, love is the opiate. I don't think I have the, 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 the general store in Escalera. Well, I guess we can do that one. Bingo! They said you no. I think I am you want to say hi to everybody, Soph? Say hi to everybody, Soph. Oh. oh no, this is where the carriage usually is, but it's not here. Oop, is that a fly? Go get it, Soph. She's on the prowl. Oh, she's done. Hmm. 
my horse, we're gonna set up a campfire. And he's like, what? Are we gonna are we going riding or what? What's going on? Um there's Escalera, that's where I wanna go. To the general store, in fact. So I went to, uh, uh, for those that don't know it, my wife, uh, who's Let's go. show up sometime during the stream, is a voice actress, and she's worked on The Simpsons. Excuse me. And uh, that means we get to go to The Simpsons party every year. And The Simpsons party was yesterday, was last night, and uh, one of the things they gave out was like a donut-themed party, and they gave out a huge... Woo. Not a sneeze, a huge pink donut, and it is inside, and I want to go eat some, because it's really good. Where's the general store? There it is. Not this store, John. Well, I'm curious if there's any guns in there we don't have. Careful. But I felt bad because I was seeing like a lot of people I hadn't seen in a while. Oh, that's pretty cheap for that. Cool. And like I'd walk up and want to like start a conversation with them, but I'd be holding this giant donut, and people were always like, "Where did you get that donut?" And I'm like, "Oh, they're giving them away. They're they're free right over there at the donut place." There's like a, a donut place at Universal Studios, which is where the party was at. They have like a little Simpsons area in Hollywood, and uh, there's a donut shop. So naturally. That's where we got them donuts. Uh, do we... Was that it? Right. So we have a lot of outfits where we have, like, one thing to do. And I didn't necessarily have time to do it before, but maybe we can get back to the story and I will look them up online outside of the stream and then make a big list of what we got to do and so we can start a future Red Dead Revisited stream and just kind of fly through and get all those done. Um, so I think there's literally just one. Unlike all the outfits we don't have. And then there's others we haven't discovered. But uh, a lot of strangers that uh, we haven't met. Uh, so we got one mission available right now. And that is our... Uh, McDougal. And this carriage is not going to take us there. Do not have to play any more Five Finger Filet. We did enough of that last stream. Uh, they had du yeah, they got Duff. It's like Budweiser, I think. Maybe it tastes like it. They have Duff and Duff Light, and they have other beers. Come on. But it's cool. Beer in a theme park is real good. It's a real good thing. I'm glad no one's like freaked out. I'm like been done something real real dumb while they're drunk like people do dumb things at theme parks all the time but i just don't want somebody to ruin that there used to be a thing called the skyway that ran through disneyland that somebody jumped out of and so they got rid of it and i was like why did you jump out of it what's your problem why can you just enjoy it like the rest of us you goofball why did you jump out of the skyway He's like that guy that, that senior, that yeah, other student's senior year that like broke into some teacher's office. So they're just like, all right, senior party's canceled. And you're like, why did you, why'd you do that? You're so close. But you know, Duff beer in real life is like Duff beer on The Simpsons. Once you've had two, doesn't matter what it tastes like. Just keep on drinking. There's Duff beer here in Chile, and I'm not kidding. Licensed beer made in Chile. That's awesome. Yeah, what are they going to do? All right, back in Blackwater. 
what are you, what? Is he closed? Do I need to get off the horse first? Between 6 p.m. and 5 a.m., what time is it? Between 6 p.m. and 5 a.m., oh, I gotta come back in the, uh-oh. Never a dull moment. Okay. Back for you, McDougal. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Hello there. It's nice to hogtie somebody when you know that ten people aren't going to immediately descend upon you and shoot you in the face. Running too fast with the horse, but you know, picking up the pace a little bit. Bring it to a stop. Oh, you might want to deal with this fella yourself. You are a saint and a scholar. Here's a token of my gratitude. Give me that fame, baby. One casual, thank you for the resub, and I thank you for the Michael P. Huber emote. Okay, he looks illuminated. Looks like the time is right. Imagine this franchise and this current gen. Can you imagine it? Like actual warfare. Like you running into a battle on horseback with 10 other people on your side and 20, 30 other Professor. people on the other side. Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What's going oh, on? Oh, Zadfin, dude, any time, my friend. Any time. Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. The RP walk you know, is a know, dear, thing, dear friend of mine. When, thing, when we do retrospectives, it is mandatory. I, I had to come down on uh, oh, Bloodworth and Huber and, uh, a and Brad neck, a little sir. bit. Like, take your time. Give me some pans. There's no rush. Nope. Give me some savages. low angles. Savages. I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm oh sweet, so you're getting out of here good. I'm ready for you to, to exit the story. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. You okay, Professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, oh great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. 
Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. <laughs> Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. Dutch. We're fighting for something a, a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea. Not just for ourselves. We'll That's take you down, Dutch. Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. I'm gonna run across the rooftops. That <laughs> John trolling out. him at a time like this. Thank you. Thank you. Nice, John. Thank you. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> See, a little sillier. There, they you know they have to put boobs in every scene. Good day, sir, uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. That's right. Come on, we can get to the roof this way. Old man Carruthers keeps a hundred and one cats in a hellhole. The stinky thing. Do something! He's going to kill Later, me! Haru. Stay back, or the teacher gets it. Onward! Ow. Ow. Your pain is pleasure for me, hombre. Why would you go over there, John? <laughs> you saw where I wanted to take cover, right? I was like, let's slide right over here. One more move, and he's a yeah. Dead see man. there, thank you. <laughs> As the buzzard flies, this is where your oh, and I had ends. the spirit the pistol world would be good. Like that hit him. Like for sure. There we go. shooting from
think that's most of them. The coast looks clear. Come on, then. Let's make a break for it. The horses should be in an alleyway down here. Never in all my days. Four K dysentery. All right, get us out of this hellhole. Whoa, come on! So I think the last mission, it was kind of like, whoa, why are we leaving our horses behind here? It's a weird place to specifically end the mission, but they were there for our escape. I think I'm going to have to shoot some people soon. Come on, come on! People probably be chasing us. Plane's great. Please, I'll leave and never come back. Yep. I can't believe this. That's so crazy. Fast. Too bad. Or was I right? I don't even know anymore. About what? They are savages. No more than you and me. Most of these men were raised on reservations, educated in boarding schools. And what good is it done? Their land was taken from them. Land they'd lived on for hundreds of years. Yes, for their own. Good Lord, did they ever give up? Yeah, I guess they're little spurts. Let's go. What are you going to do now? Get as far away from here as humanly possible. Back to where people eat with knives and forks, and don't spend every second of the day trying to kill each other. Here we are. Finally, a one-way ticket to civilization, please. <sighs> Thank you, Master Glitch. Complete. Much as I thought. Howdy. Good evening, everybody. No civilizing this savage land. Well, not from you. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. One of those characters you think we're going to probably see again in a Red Dead 3. Best if there luck, should everybody. be such a thing. Or, that, or possibly if we get too much of a time jump, uh, his so works long, might be brought up. The books he has written. So long, sir. First day of fall hype. Thanks for the hundred dollars. I love that the train comes through here. You know, this is like this is like uh, Grizzly Hills from World of Warcraft, like. Except there's a train that goes through, and it's the train. It's the train that goes through the entire map. See, like it goes up, comes in from McFarland's. Like, Isn't that cool. Goes all the way around through the Great Plains, goes through Blackwater, comes all the way back down, goes by Thieves Landing, but not through Thieves Landing, so it doesn't have a train station. One of the few little settlements that doesn't. Uh, so yeah, what's up? Oh, back to these jerks. This might be it. We might be getting close. There's a very specific story moment coming up. Uh, in case y'all don't remember, where we are going to take a vacation from the story, probably for three or four episodes. And we are gonna do all the other stuff. We're gonna do the challenges, which we haven't really done any of. Uh, we're gonna finish up uh, the requirements for the outfits. We're gonna, um... Maybe look at the list of strangers that are available and see which ones, you know, to 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 show the fun of an open world. I like to kind of not like worry so much about strategy guides and just kind of run around and see what uh, what strikes my fancy. Oh, what a nice little farm! I wonder who lives here. Looks like nobody. Whoa. 
We're going hunting soon. Two weeks, we're gonna be hunting some zombies. Going after some undead. You, you bet I'm gonna be wearing the uh, the dead eye thing in that expansion, man. You need all the dead eye you can get. Lots of headshots. Some fun weapons. Uh, yeah, we gotta hunt for those treasures. The treasure kind of sucks though because. I just look up where they are and you, like, you just go get them. Um, I mean, it's nighttime. There's a creepy old church. I believe this is the first church we go to in uh, Undead Nightmare, so. Might as well just pop in, get a good look at this place before we return. What did I do to deserve this? I'm just hanging out in the church. A little more RP walk for you. Go RP walk out the door and see if we can find this chest. Or person. Oh, I guess it's the person. Yeah, I was looking for an object or something. It is that person sitting up front. Ain't it that rascal, Mr. Marston? What did I do to deserve it? Excuse me, miss. Something wrong? Does it look like something's wrong? It does. Well, you look kind of upset about something. Perhaps you don't understand what it's like to be disgraced as a woman. Rodney Og, I hope that you enjoy it then. Gossip about you and turn from you in disgust day after day. Good night, holy you angel. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for just being That's in chat sure. when I said I was going to jump on and stream a little bit. Clara, I used to be a nanny for a family here in Blackwater. The father, he was always so charming. Nah, fool that I was, fell for him. Mrs. Thornton, his wife, kicked me out on the street as soon as I started showing. Mr. Thornton turned to drink. Not even a farewell. For a dollar. I have nothing. They will surely take my baby from me. Perhaps you could find the dissolute bastard. At even a few dollars for me and my baby to find a home, I would be so grateful, sir. I'll see what I can do. Now <sighs> oh, he's in Blackwater? Well, isn't that convenient? I go talk to him right now. I can, but I'm not gonna. Come on. What is that running over here for? Oh, there's that one. Um. Oh, I was coming back into town. Sorry. Although, that guy's over here. This guy's pretty great. Of cities divest from the U.S. government-backed securities in the wake of the 2008 financial crisis. Come on. <laughs> um, doesn't sound like that's a good thing. Doesn't sound like that worked out. Thanks, Ray Bunzi. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hanging out. Come on. Come on. Not a good thing. Not a good Let's thing, go. Kofi. Is this the last one from him? This is a beautiful spot. Sure. What are you doing here? My accounts. 
I'm an accountant. Is that so? In a way. What's your name? You know, it's the darndest thing. I can't remember. Tell me your damn name and where you know me from. Well, I know you're from Mexico. I know you're from back out west. Hell, I know you from all over. Tell me your name or I won't be responsible for my actions. Oh, but you will. You will be responsible. This is a fine spot. See you around, cowboy. Damn you! Yes, many have. Still walking away, or did he? Did he vanish? No, he's no longer around. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it for that mysterious stranger. So. Um. Yeah, there's lots of conclusions. I mean, you know, you know, we've we've wrapped that up. So. Uh, I saw some people in chat say. Okay, he's a ghost. Some people said he's the devil. Uh, some people, um, uh, one person said he's God. Uh, I think he's death. Uh, where do we see him last? That, that farm, that little homestead there. Um, you're, in a lot of ways, you're trying to prevent people's death when you're around him. You talk with him about, um, uh, things you want to do before you, you know, meet your maker, potentially. I won't help the pregnant lady. I'll help the pregnant lady. I'm just not going to help the pregnant lady right now. Fine. I'll help the pregnant lady. But, who knows? He could just be a demon, you know? Like, an immortal. Somebody's been around for a long, long time. But he does seem sentient. I mean, they're, they're definitely making a point there with him. Not really, like, quote-unquote, existing in this world. By the rules that all of the other characters in this game seem to be bound by. But it's so great that he's just a stranger. He, he just happened to find him. And, uh, that's that. Like, I didn't get a, I didn't get an outfit from that. You know? I didn't get, like, another weapon. I didn't get any XP. I didn't get any money. I got a cool story. Or, uh... Maybe a Excuse story. me. You know a girl named Clara? Michette? She went and, uh, she some of you might not like the way this is gonna turn out because your boy Jones is a sap. Dante, yeehaw! Thank you for resubscribing. She left to join that people up north. No. She helped raise your children. Yeah, man. You and her had a intimacy of sorts. Look here, laddie. I'm not sure what you're accusing me of. I'm just here to enjoy the tables. Not to hear expressions against my character. I understand oh, you want to keep this quiet. There's a lot of guys they don't want you to like in this game. For her and the child. There's a lot of uh, people. Oh, what is it? There's a lot of people in this game that are like, ain't that guy a bastard? And you're like, yes. That's terrible. You. It's a terrible thing to do. No. Oh dear. At night, too. See if I can... See if I can actually not kill him. I'm gonna try not to kill him. Because he's just being a jerk. Not all jerks deserve to die. <laughs> Oops, no, that shot him in the face. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I shouldn't be laughing. I horribly disfigured that man's face. And got some fame for it.
I don't even need Excuse your revolver me, ammo. Ammo. That's how worthless you are to me. Ooh, hey. Didn't she ask for fifty dollars? What if I was just like, hey, yeah, here's a, uh, here's that fifty dollars. No. Yeah. But I mean, it is just a stranger mission. You can just not give her that money. Um, but that's a horrible thing to do. You can do it. Good news. Hey, Clara. Hello, mister. Got you some money. Oh, you are very kind. Very kind. And how's Harold? How's my Harold? Didn't go so well. well. I'm afraid he's dead. Dead? <gasps> Unfortunately so. I, I, I must go to his grave. Afraid I don't know where that is. He'll be buried in the cemetery in the family plot. If I hurry, I can... I can make it to his funeral. <laughs> wah, wah. And, uh... I liked the actual transaction there. I received the money and I gave it up. Uh... Yeah, those are the... That's what's so great about strangers, you know? They, they teach you to kind of lower your expectations or... You know, to anticipate that uh, they're gonna they're gonna end that way sometimes. But it makes sense, you know. She was super angry and just didn't realize who she was talking to. <laughs> it's like, oh, hey, random stranger, and he's like, yeah, I'm a, you know, I'm one of the best gunfighters in the world. Uh, you may not want to ask me for a favor. Because if that favor somehow involves gunfighting, I'm probably going to kill the person that's trying to kill me. Let's, uh, let's save the game. Why not? Always feels good to save. Wait, it's been a rough day. Let's have a drink. I like that he's got to walk over from wherever he is. And he says something random. He walks to wherever I am. There's actually something in the glass. I actually drink it. I finally discovered why they call this town Blackwater. It ain't nice. Thanks. They say Mr. Fortescue was born a woman. Man, that, you're, you're really making that area clean, lady. We are an hour in this episode of Red Dead Revisited. That looks great out still. Yeah, man, I think it's not late in the day enough. Oh no, wait. Looks like we just passed it. How are you? What do you do, sir? Good morning. Good morning, sir. What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. <laughs> no, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. <laughs> but since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you, oh boy? It's nauseating. 
You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. Kaylee, I keep thinking about Harvest I Moon. Know, it's I have not given it a chance. You like that? Curious what your what your favorite Harvest fun? Moon was. If I if, if I wanted sense. to maybe jump in one of those games and give He's it a like shot. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money. And disagreeing with him. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. I think we might have a guest so, pretty soon. I know. The garage door is a beeping. It's easy. <laughs> what? No, don't what? <laughs> don't upstage me. Don't you dare upstage me, woman. Well, well, well. I see you've, we I see you've brought an apple. Is. You... <laughs> if it ain't my old arch nemesis, <laughs> Brandon Joe. Exactly. Is that what we are now? What's the alternative? <laughs> what? I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. I think you know it's one man what. And his gun versus another. You want an How many arch nemesis? What? Sure. Civilization what? may be dull. Why am I your art manager? Why? You know why? You know what you done the way you did. This, civilization, <laughs> this freedom for men. That's to right. I also have a cowboy hat like and an accent. Ever in your God's cowboy hat's a little better than mine. Just talking about. I think it costs a little bit it's more. To kidnap your mom bought son? it for me. Is that an insult? I know Your it, mom it, bought it for me. It, Actually, no, my mom did buy it. It's true. Yeah. As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Mm. Any day now, guys. After the I debacle, took the picture. The yeah, I sent it to uh, Kyle. Mm -hmm. Amanda's uh, emote picture has been selected. Kyle's just got to make it. It's been selected. Will you help us? But it hasn't been mated. Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it. That. No. Then what was that pretty speech so you made? What's uh, just, we're, we might but be sure wrapping up part of the same. story. We might Shall be we, uh, Mr. Marston? wrapping up the second to last act. Of Can Red we Dead go Redemption. to the Black Bear cabin again? No. <laughs> just hang out. See what's going on there. I want to do that wanted quest again. See if we can find some black bears. That we did last week. That was fun. Ooh! Thanks, my fun. Yay, resub! You resubbed. What's the resub thing? Just thanks. Thank you. A kindly thank you. A kindly thank you, my bun. Oh, look at these guys. Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot everybody. Uh -uh. Let's see if we can put this to rest once and for all, shall we? What? Take a look at this thing. Yeah. Look out. The peacekeeper. He's got a gun on the back. Oh, my Lord, I never seen such a Wee wee. We just have to go back to Black Bear Cabin and again hide. <laughs> Look at all the troops. I see there's one on the couch. Stop it. <laughs> What's the word, Captain? We spotted one. This is cool. This is it, this is not here. I think he took they just the set this up. Let's get in position. Then. Have your men ready to run them down if you have to. What's the year? Oof, uh, late 18th century? Late 19th century, sorry. Are you ready to finish maybe? this, Mr. Marston? I guess so. And we're gonna shoot a bunch of Native Americans, unfortunately. Are you really? Yeah. It's the game. Fingers on the triggers, boys. Well, it's also sadly part of U.S. history, but. Yep. Wow. Oh, am I supposed to go? Somewhere Targets else? on the horizon. Oh. Fire at will. I thought you wanted to kill me. Where are they coming from? Yes. They're like flash! Gun them now! Stupid! Goddamn savages! It's 
Shot me in the ass! <laughs> Don't let them get too close! Look, they're running! Move out! Don't let them get away! All in a day's work! It was, it was pretty tasty. Who's that here? Uh, the guys that uh, sent me on this mission. Meaning, as in the game. Right. Guys, it's, uh, the guys I am, uh, the, the law officers that, uh, I'm doing, uh, wonderful. Can't you hold this thing steady for them? I'm trying my best, sir. And I'm doing their bidding, the bidding of them for. Them. Behind those for whom the going. bidding I do. For whom of which I do bidding for sometimes. <laughs> when I want to progress the story. Uh, yeah? Well. Native Americans has ERG killed. But what, I mean, I'm talking about when it's necessary. We'll kill every last one of you. <laughs> it's just your bullets went around. I'm glad that I put in the where Satan meets the things that she can prop up her even. Yep. Quick, do something about that work! Yeah, we. Uh, the vibe works. Uh, I, it is upside down. Remember when I was hoping it wasn't? Yeah. It is upside down. But it works anyway. Uh, yeah. Oh no, Jones. Is that just the end of the sequence? Yeah. Oh. I was um, like, look out. I hung the vibe upside down. And the truth will set you free. I was hoping there would be an option to like flip it, but you would that would flip the controls as well, and it's just it's I can need to go. Flip it. Flip do it. it. So I need to go buy a big a piece of wood and screw that in and then screw the vibe to that. Okay, sure. But I was worried it was going to be super, you know, uptight about height and distance and I plugged it in well, and it's like, did I plug in everything correctly? And I like opened up the app and it was like, no you did, you, you did go check out your vibe. You are just, you need to be like, on the oh, ceiling. Same. Just be on the ceiling. Woo! It seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> just move to Australia? Sure. Now, before I shoot you myself, <laughs> let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. <clears throat> Mount up, man. Let's move out! Yeah! Ride to Cochinay. Ride to Cochinay. Is that... Mm-hmm. Uh, is that your same horse, or do you have a new horse? I don't know. I've, I've, I've I not really... I feel like really, this horse looks different. I have not been invested in what horse I have, admittedly. Well, apologies to all of you who were he's hoping crazy, for an eclectic mix of horses and horses in this horse playthrough. Horse I did that in my original playthrough. I had, I had a, a strong love affair with my original steed. And then I loaded up a save file and walked out and called my horse, and it was like a white skeleton thing. It was just a... I mean, not like a, a magical horse, but it was just... Like, it was... It was like, the color was very white. It was very skinny, and it was like... What? Huh? Do I don't think our old friend Dutch realizes what a great favor he has done. Um, citing all this hate among so, the natives. So, uh, like on subsequent playthroughs, I have not been too stressed about what we're saying. 
Oh, well, I don't blame you. See, this is what happens when you fraternize with savages. How could you ever follow a man like that? At Easy Allies, I'm going to ask me to clear that like Harambe is not a true as you can actually get on that part of my A murderer and a rapist. Ross don't seem too different. Um, Dutch you know about that, man right? Once. Harmore has a far better man than you. So let me get this way. Guess what I don't know. What? Bastards like you. Cat. Seeing that things never change. Squirrel. You think? All right, now. Anything to get you sons of bitches off my Well, back. you can't win them all in the and I, world. And I posted on Facebook, and I was like, I don't know what this says about me. And Sarah so clever, was like, oh, it says so much, and I love you for it. And I was like, I don't even know what that means. I don't know what it means. I think it means that I'm rare and powerful. And you have a big nose. I have horns. Yeah. We are giving you a chance. To kill the men who betrayed you. You didn't have to knows. punish my wife too. And oh, I just like to. She's hardly innocent. Don't you my talk about things. her like that? Oh, Kelly says you went to turn us the year. Oh really? Did you call her Abby or Abigail? Uh, it was the kind of thing I where I was taking a quiz, no, and I, I got like the last the, the last thing, and it was like, hmm. We need to ask you another question. Apparently, I was all the things I was picking were too disparate from each other. Like I could like forest. And then bright, and then round, and then like, whoa. Those things don't go together. You're supposed to be bright, and above, and, you know, beach. So you roll home together. But I didn't do that. Divergent, I guess. Toots, Toots dive. Go to hell! Lot, lot of conversation happening here on the trail. Uh, sorry. So gang of yours just no, it's fine. It's just gonna take a while to get to where we're going. I wonder how many deaths well, you, you know, that's what I'm also having a conversation. How much money you took from pockets of hard-working citizens? Like we did more for the people with the money we it's took nice. than the damn government ever did. Good God! This squad philosophy you. yours again. Yeah. If you wish to argue the finer points of ethics, this is the part I suggest you learn to read first. Right yep. And I suggest you learn how to shoot people in the front, do, do, not do, the do, back. This is so cute. Whoa, and go fast. Oh, <laughs> Zen Gamer Max says Marinos are also known for their exceptional VO acting abilities. <laughs> and then Melissa Jean says Marinos, that's awesome. Marinos are amazing. Mine is a dolphin. Cool. Lion Horse Package oh. 9 says Hi, Brandon. It's my first time watching this live. It's awesome. Nice. Glad you enjoyed I just love this game. I don't really have a really clear cut. I also stream Disney Infinity every week, but I have really specific ideas about what to do for each episode. Oh, with yeah. this, I just go out. And... I'm sorry I wasn't home yesterday, or a Tuesday when you were doing your Infinity. That's fine. How was that? It's How good. did it go? Oh, it was good. Yeah. Yeah. We wrapped up the toy box. Maybe you can play it one last time. Oh, I'd like to. I've already taken you through it. You did know. you submit it? I have not submitted it yet. I'm spending it tomorrow. Oh my. Or today was Friday. Yeah, I'll probably submit it Monday then. Today is Thursday. Today's Thursday. Tomorrow's Never mind. Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. I'm, I am submitting it tomorrow. Oh, damn. It's a good idea to get it in. Yeah. A little bit ahead of time. See, that's, that's what EZA has done to my brain. I don't know what day of the week it is. Even though I'm streaming something, I always stream on Thursdays. But whatever. You stream on the days that people look at TV. I'm a toother. A toother kind of guy. Uh, Zen Gamer Max, you're waiting for your email from Pottermore, but you know, I heard that that was just because it's really taxing on the owls to fly from the UK. Stop it. Our audience you know, is a bunch of grown men and women, Amanda. Emails, this is my own story. You're speaking nonsense. How dare you? It's make believe. Here's the needs from Holland. Woo! -hoo. Good morning. Kaylee thought it was Friday too. Let's go. Mention the second three it is. So you're the one who's gonna kill him. You see those mountains? Dutch? You can't yep, go to there. That's what they keep telling me. But if you feel like doing it, please be but my guest. Heck of a huh? Heck of one. It's very. We'd stop. Really we'd we'd, we'd stop and have some snacks right here. Yeah. We would have some peanuts and. Yeah, and a sandwich. A sandwich, yeah. Yeah. 
I know, I'm Melissa annoyed. Jane. Make believe spoken just like a muggle. You just don't know. You have not been through the portal. They said Ooh, you was in a gang with this Don't you die when you go through the portal? <laughs> I was one. What portal? That's, no, that's the veil. Oh, the veil, sorry. Hey. You, muggles. blow that gate open. Move then the Harry Potter stream. There's a Red Den stream. You come on my show with, a, with anywhere, a cowboy hat. Anywhere where I am, it makes it into a Harry Potter thing. Why have you not streamed a Harry Potter game on Easy Allies yet? What? Harry Potter game could I play? We got uh, the uh, Chamber of Secrets, I think, on PS2. Somebody Let's sent it to do us. It. You down? I'd actually rather play Lego Harry Potter again. Okay. I think it just uh, was remastered. Uh -oh. I think you said that's it. <laughs> because a lot of the Harry Potter games were not. So I like this because I like that it's not like, yeah, this is really important to us that we get this guy. So let's just send in like Marston. That's it. I like like going with the other man. It makes sense. Like, like no, we're actually gonna do a full fledged attack. You know, I just realized. Fantastic piece of I know. I know. The game is in Gamer Max, or did the Phoenix game is awesome? I don't remember any of the games being there. Like any of the official. I, except for the Quidditch game. Oh. Do Oops. you play the Quidditch game? Yeah, I still have that for GameCube. Oh man, I would love to play that. That was another. Come on, boys! Everybody move in! Sazanu says, this is the first mission I had a hard time with. Ah. Also, apparently, he, she is a Okay, this is the first Harry Potter game, best Harry Potter game. Sazanu. Yeah, but I think they remade the first one, and I think we got even better. Yeah, the first one you actually have to like go to classes. And they were just like, "Oh, that's dumb." And it's like, "No, it's awesome. You should totally do that. You, have, you can do a video game, so it should be longer than you know the movies or anything. You should totally go to potions class. Like, just bully. Just take the whole bully format. Right. And Which just is add why magic. I like Lego Harry Potter better than yeah. any of the official movie licensed Harry Potter games. And why I like that Quidditch game. That Quidditch, game. Quidditch game was fun. Well, it was fun too because there were like, there were teams from other like countries. Right. So it kind of had like a international flair. Well, you, you, you just you would like they didn't. They, you know you saw the that one. Um, uh, um, check the tape. Uh, you saw we saw the world the World Cup, but you know it's like I'm sure there's all sorts of, all sorts of other matches you can go to. So, stepped outside of uh, you know movie and book canon a little bit, which was exciting. This ends right now. Yeah, the franchise is epic. Yeah. Goddamn runners! And they're not stupid way. Yeah, you know J and T one one five nine three. I think that Hermione often takes some more useful courses, but it doesn't seem to be obligatory that they learn math and English. I think it's assumed that they already know it. Maybe they I don't know. Maybe they, they, they get that done before But you're right. It's it's not um it's not specifically stated that they have to study what can I say, Parker? things. So, you know, they're writing their essays on parchment, but can they spell? We don't know. Totally taking over the chat. They're all talking about it. That's fine. Oh no. Uh, this is so violent. It's a Rockstar game. If Rockstar made a Harry Potter game, would it be like this? No. Because, like I said, they made Bully. They made a game that was not violent, that was just a fun little prankster game.
Oh, man. How's it going? Fine. You gonna be okay? Yeah. Let's go, man! Move into the village! Maybe the truth will set you free. That's, That's the name of the mission. In a world to reference him. Um... We'll be waiting with your family. Uh, I, mean, I don't know. I think it's a Bible reference. Yeah. But what, what part of you the story? Man, the God uh, the, well, this is kind of the one of the finales, like where I'm finally oh. tracking down the guy, the guy that I'm sent to Dutch. There we go. Dead. Actually, they were a little sneaky about it because the first there's Bill Williamson, and he's the one that I'm actually sent to the beginning, and then they find out that uh, Dutch, the guy who actually like led my old gang, is mm -hmm. still here. So they're like, oh, never mind. Did you just mention the Minerality so you're doing another one? Yes. It's nice to remember the Gatling gun right there. Yeah. No one thought to go run and uh, hop on this guy. Well, you know, Harvey is on the Gatling gun, but then he just got up for a minute to, like, go get a sandwich. <laughs> And later he's going Harvey. To he's going to be like, oh no. Shucks. <laughs> <laughs> Was that funny, Sophie, when I said that? Look at the cuddle. She's getting tired. Oh, well. You and me both, so it's basically bedtime. Oh, your ammo's full. Your ammo's full. Your ammo's full. So these are your men. Yeah. Good job. Phew. Right, Marston. We'll take two men with us. The rest will stay here and take Jones care of the wounded. Jones lasered in. They'll plant charges at yep. the gate. You and I'll provide the cover fire. When I got my missus here to talk to chat, All I right, got man. super Load focused on the open. game. Yeah. Keep Any questions, now, guys? Up top. And cover gals? Up. And peeps? I'm ready. Don't have the Just drop the gun. It ain't worth it. Well, <clears throat> I used to be an ice farmer, which meant that I would go out. Uh, in the frozen tundra, and you know, you have a, a river or a lake or whatever that's frozen over. And then I cut big over. blocks of ice and I'd load it up into my carriage and I'd take it into town and I'd sell it for about you five cents a block. And that would keep people's um, cold things cold for about a week. Uh, Looks like it was a good job and job. I was good at it. Anyway, one day I was you delivering an ice block to uh, this mansion and I've never been there before and uh, I guess the servant was out and there was this surly guy there and he told me just to get in the fridge and later I found out that that was Brandon and he was living in Wayne Manor and so that, and, and I found that out because the next time I went, I talked to Alfred. He was there that time. He was really nice. But Brandon, uh, Brandon, not so much for a long time. Uh, but then, like so many things, the ice melted. Around my heart. That's That was the important thing. And I put down the cape and cowl. And took up the cape and Yep. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Amanda Ice Farmer confirmed. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I apparently I was very quiet because I was sitting in the back. Oh, that's right. Um, a bridge version. I was an ice farmer. I delivered ice to Wayne Manor where Brandon was living. Where Brandon was secretly Batman, and he was surly with me at first, but then later. His heart no melted. Yes, yes. That's the shortened version of the thing I just told you guys. Which is how we met. Right. 
what she said. Brandon, we have to go into our terror before they change it. Like, at least once. Son of a bitch! God damn it! <laughs> You'll never take me alive, John! You might be right. Let's go get him, guys! Let's go get him! Why no. would you go up the fiery side? Thought I could maybe jump through. No! And, yes! Ladder! He's getting away! This level kind of reminds me of a level in Resident Evil 4. Where you're like, it's where all the military fun. guys are. I ain't leaving here without you! It's like right before you get Ashley back for the last time. Mm. You know that scene. And so who's back, girl? Oh, they already removed the Tower of Terror sign. That's too bad. How, you, how do you know what it is now? Yeah. You're just like me, John. You can't change that seemed like a waste of a bullet. It's, it was an exclamation point. I ain't like you. <laughs> this is cozy in here. I would, like, use this as a hideout. I guess that's what Dutch was doing. It just looks super comfy, right? Yeah. I want the weather to get cold. It might not. But that'd be nice. <laughs> you can slide down the poles. Oh, it's so dark. Do you have a flashlight? I do not. So this is the penultimate? It, well, meaning the come before the storm, basically. Yeah. yeah, like the last, the last, the last confrontation before the final confrontation. That's or is where the you're wrong. The, what you said. No, this is not the final confrontation. Yeah, that's right. Spoilers. Well, you just said that earlier. I I'm confirming something that you said. Yes. I wouldn't spoil. I don't know what is what it is. Hello again, John. Hello, Dutch. We gotta stop meeting like this. Sure. I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. This is a good one. I don't doubt it. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change. We can't fight gravity. We can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see? And I have to shoot you. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to. Because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Uh-oh. Our time has passed, John. See you later, Dutch. So at the end, you didn't have the guts to shoot him. Oh, the man's dead, Ross. Sure. Can I see your gun? Looks better in the report that way. Where's my family? Uh, your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. So, <laughs> I'm only joking, dear boy. They were sent back to that Scrabble ranch of yours in Beecher's Hope. They're quite safe and sound. That was a terrible they better be. 
Thank you, Mr. Marston, for everything. I know this wasn't easy for you, but I have to say, you've done your country proud. Yeah, exactly. See you around, John. Try to stay out of trouble. Come on, Archer. Let's go find somebody else we can annoy. Wow. So did you just leave him there? Yep. Aww. Now I know the only compass that I need is the one that leads back to you. And I know the only compass that I need oh, is the one is back to you And the burning blisters on my feet will call To hold me as I'm close to fall Away from the hope of your arms I stray <laughs> the radar and into harm If you knew this song, I would be I'd so impressed Now I know the only compass that I need So could you have shot him if you wanted to? I don't think so. I don't I don't know. Don't put me on that. A bear! A bear! I'm not gonna deal with that. <laughs> Remember when the bear surprised us before? I think I was just taking after those guys. Yeah. There's another. I think there's yeah, two I'm, bears. Leaving, I'm leaving that world behind, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> I showed her a little bit of fiasco. She hasn't seen the whole thing. Thank you for resubscribing, Andre Fruit Moon. A for Amanda. A for Fruit. I like how horses are just hanging out. Excuse us. Come on. Go to work. See you later. <laughs> and I was convinced. I'm like, there's no way. There's gonna be some trick, some other thing I gotta do. Jack! Anyone here? Anyone home? Oh, darling. Uh, I never thought I'd see this day uh -oh, again. Oh, she's gonna slap him. You no good hillbilly piece of shit! I thought you was dead! I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling. You know. You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him too. And you didn't go back to him? I left that life. Just as you left yours. How'd they treat you? Oh, I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike and he didn't try it again. Nor no one else. How's the boy? Oh, like you. And like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well... Some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. We tried to change, I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. Until <laughs> The end. No. <laughs> 
Sadly, no. Jack! Uh-oh. And Jack comes in to ruin everything. Hello, sir. Wow, he's a big boy now. How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens and poachers took the cattle. I tried, Father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. And don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go Bye, blaming guys. me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. And no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? <laughs> Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one to use. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, go get your bags packed, either. boy. We got work to do. We're leaving in the morning. Just quit the game now. I need to all back together. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, I know. It's like it's like old Yeller. It's like and oh, stop the DVD. It's dark now, but in the morning we gotta go get ourselves some more cattle. We've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over. In yeah, Lazy Bone. I wish you could watch his beard, but you can't. Yeah. It's, a, it's a grizzly yeah, game. Yeah. You know, people <laughs> I love that bear. That was so great. <laughs> yes, exactly. There's some kind of commotion up ahead. Oh, it's a bear. Prison, <laughs> they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies. If uh, the actors who, who play Santa Claus regularly on TV, they if they have natural beards, uh, around this time of year, they have to get some special treatments to bleach their beards and keep them white looking because I guess they naturally just get yellow. Santa Claus has special beard hair. Oh. Uh -huh. the question. I mean, Jack? What's Jack doing? Is it morning? I think, hold on a second. Oh, sorry. That was just morning, okay. You just have one outfit? I don't have a coat on, though. Which is interesting. Okay, it's it's a new look. I think I'm coming Jack to do something. Yeah. Are you like, gonna go like my farm, like get a silo? Like cattle? In the barn over there? Alright. In my house. I gotta go to bed. I, I think I'm gonna do it before anything bad happens. But I, I was waiting for the first time I played this game. I was waiting for credits that whole time. I'm like, okay, now he's with his family. Now we get credits. Nope. Daddy, Paul. There's more to do. Not just this mission. Are you ready? So to go to bed Let's all out. I'm gonna take this girl. And we're gonna go. Okay. To sleep. Ready for bed? She's ready. I'm ready. Come on. Got another day tomorrow. Just gonna think about these two, father and son, riding around doing their thing. Good night, honey. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. How you feeling, Jack? I'm feeling fine, sir. Good night. We got a Good night, ahead, all you out there in chat How do you know these ranchers? I met them while I was away. McFarland's are good people. Look out! Let's go. We need folks we can trust right they now. I was sick and they looked after me. Sick how? You sure got a lot of questions. Well, I don't often get a chance to ask them. Was it a gentleman's complaint? What do they call it? A morning drip? Good God, boy, no! Where do you learn these things? Uncle told me about it. Well, he'd know, the dirty old fool. No, I just got weak for a while. Acted foolishly, got in trouble. Guess I was a little out of practice. Hey, Paul! What? Where were you all that time? Where'd you go? What'd your mother tell you? She said it was some kind of important. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Please, you only line. just got home. Go. On, go. My horse can't keep up. I kind of like that the whole time you were the one at asking other people questions because you didn't know anything about them. And now you've come home, and now your boy has a lot of things to ask you. 
Yeah, I caught up with Bill and Dutch. And you know what happened. You played the game, so... This is kind of interesting seeing how John communicates with his son and what he tells him what he does. We won't be seeing them again. They're angry at you, weren't son could put two and two together and realize that his father saying I got in trouble means I got shot. Explain it to you one day. And what does that make you? I guess I'm a bad man who tried to be a good father. I don't know. Every man has a right to change. A chance of forgiveness. A chance of redemption. Isn't that what the good book says. You never read me the good book, sir. There. Well, I imagine that's oh, what it says. Me. My horse is just interested in that tree for a second. Careful. You ready to learn about herding cattle? I've never seen you hurt anything, Pop. Apart from the odd pack of drugs. The McFarlands were good to me, and I helped them out in return. I learned a few things along the way. Wait till you see their ranch. What ours will be one day. I read in the newspaper their ranch is dead. Soon it'll just be factories and businesses around here. There's the ranch. Come on, let's see if we can find Mr. McFarland. a face I thought I'd never see again. Some of our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows the what. Todd McFarland. Not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Bonnie's out the crowd now. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> Take care now, Mr. McFarland. Good luck. Yeah. Jack, you're gonna have an important job. I want you to lead the herd while I drive him from the back. Keep us. Sorry, Lord, didn't mean to wrap up that conversation. Me. Prematurely. Walks among us. I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarland. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or trying to, at least. You'll be fine. You get to help him start out. up his farm. Oh, Isn't that great? It's so not typical for a Rockstar game. Modeled very heavily off of the Grand Theft Auto franchise. That's just like, and now, domestic life. I was like, really? I, I That made me so happy. A lot of things in this game made me happy, obviously, but I really enjoyed that aspect. I was talking to someone in GT, I remember, and they were like, uh, oh, the herding, really? I'm like, I loved it. It's practical, it makes the world come alive. It makes me feel like I'm in City Slickers. Let's go! I'll ride with you until you get them off the range. Thanks, Bonnie. Good luck, John! Come back and see us sometime! So, what happened? Last I heard you were headed for some exotic escapade. So you check back in with everybody, kind of re relive the game story. through other people's eyes. Too long to tell without a drink in my hand. Back to the riddles, I see. And Mr. Williamson? Who? I got a comment on that. And, uh... Is this your boy? Yeah. So you know, like, Mr. first time we see Bonnie, kind of like, oh, hey, you know, Florence Nightingale uh, thing. Maybe he uh, falls for her and... Cute. You know, maybe they become an item, and now you wouldn't think of it because we met, we met his wife. And... Nope, he was be he was real faithful to her. You know, obviously through the whole game, I played him as a nice guy. So interesting how the dynamic between you know John and Bonnie's changed now. Well, I think we haven't had much time to talk yet. Well, I'm glad you're back together again. It's gonna take some time. We've all been through a lot. I can't remember if it's happened yet or if it is yet to happen, but. Nice to see you again, There's definitely Mr. a clear Farland. moment where, uh, a couple clear moments today. where you can tell she, she has affection for John. All right, Jack, let's get him through the river. Come on, easy up now. That's a pretty. Decent amount of cattle she's letting me just have. You're doing a good job, son. 
Just lead them straight up the hill towards home. Will do, huh? by Bear Claw. Slow it up now. Whoa. Come on. Yeah, these, yeah, Sophie would go nuts over these cattle for sure. Let's go. Thank you, Scooby Nooby Doo. Go. I like your Twitch name. Scooby Nooby Doo likes my reviews. So I'm gonna keep making Whoa. them. Wait, slow down. They look like rustlers. I'll deal with this. Stay with the herd, Jack. Oh, man. Shooting was unbelievable. Not so much with the slow mo. I mean, I guess I could mark people, but you just gotta change targets really fast and shoot them a bunch. Hold up, Jack. This don't look right. Stay back, son. There we go. Jack, wait there, I'm coming. You all right? You're not hurt, are you? No. I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I wasn't scared on it. Sorry you had to see that, son. Those men won't be stealing from anybody else. Cuz they're dead. Jack, head left up the road towards home. I know where I'm going, Paul. Hey, come on. So, you know, his son's a little stubborn like his dad, but he's kind of an academic. Ooh. He's not, not too good of a farmer, but, you know, he's learning. He's willing to learn, willing to help out. Respects his father, even though he's got all his questions. Crazy horses running around with saddles on so. Yeah, left up by the road by all those dead people. Uh, this is my favorite Rockstar game. Yeah, definitely. Love you too, TNH853. Slow down. I'm also a big fan of Bully, and uh, GTA 5 is my favorite GTA. Come on. The answer to that question is usually the last one that just came out is my favorite GTA of all time. Before GTA 4 was San Andreas, before GTA 5 was GTA 4. Into the 
This is, you know, yeah. kind of a slow way to crunch the stream. But uh, this is a very significant part of the game. I mean, we are, as far as the story is concerned, we are at like 94% right now. Nice work, son. Uh, we made so I'm going to Did leave Beecher's Hope there. for a couple of sessions. Definitely for next week. Horse, uh, I will prepare there. a little bit more and have more notes as far as like specifically um, what we yeah. need to do Easy. to uh, finish off. Whoa. The challenges and whatnot. Good job, son. Nice shoot. Thanks, Paul. Make a rancher of you yet. Cows herded. Fifteen. And I guess I can maybe go get other cows and bring them in. But uh, what I like that's neat is not only is there a quest line here, but there are multiple quest lines. Am I still wearing this out? Maybe it's like Rancher or something? Rancher, there we go. When tending the ranch at Beecher's Hope. But, uh... It's been a blast, but I love that there's not only one mission, there's two. But, uh, I'm gonna hop my horse. Not to abandon my family. Right after getting here, but I'm gonna head back to Blackwater. And I'm gonna leave this ranch for a little bit and intentionally wrap up uh, the story when I want to. But uh, we have all sorts of other stuff we gotta do. So we have the outfits that you saw. There's various activities we need to do. Looks like there's a couple outfits we need to unlock. I believe we unlock one just by finishing the game. Um, and there's challenges, which we haven't done yet. That was fantastic. Um, and challenges involve, uh, we got treasure hunts we can go on. We have animals that we can hunt in specific ways, uh, and we have the most exciting hunt that you can do in this entire game. Hey, hey, hey. picking up flowers. What do we got here? Ooh, prairie poppies. So we'll get back to that plant hype. Hello. More prairie poppies? That's yeah. Cool. I'm going to need them for something. Get back here. Good force. I'm not getting involved. I gotta wrap this up. Excuse me. Watch your language. Come on. Come on. Gonna make some prairie potions. Well, that was a very eventful episode of Red Dead Revisited. That was uh, um, the death of the final adversary in in this video game. You could say Go. the death of one of the initial adversaries. The death of my former mentor and gang leader, Mr. Mr. Dutch. Now, I'm, not ha I'm not thrilled to be doing these things that I have to do, but I do have to do them. So, let's stop shooting people, and let's start shooting animals. Wait, what? <laughs> Repus! Fellow ally in Galaxy of Heroes, thank you for resub. Tierju Engi, Tierju Engi. Old man Carruthers keeps a hundred and one packed in that hellhole. Thank you both for the resubs. I'd like to see John Marshall. Right. And we are gonna save it. I mean, I got three minutes on my clock uh, before uh, before midnight, but maybe let's just go downstairs and drink a little bit. Well, it's in the middle of the day. Hold on. Poker next time? Okay. We already, we already beat her poker, though. Or did we win blackjack? Mr. Marston, yeah, I don't think we've played poker yet, have we?
Brandy will take the edge off. You know that in game who's always in the saloon was a cheap one, a big one. Dear, oh dear. Anyway, the Lord's work call. Find out. I bid you get in a bar fight. I'm not getting in a bar fight. Again, I know a lot of people love to, and I and I like to do it too. Just go on a, excuse me, excuse me, lady, uh, go on a rampage when I'm done with the play session. But we've done such an excellent job RPing. Maybe I'll do that once. Maybe maybe I'll have an episode where I just run around and do horrible things. Um, I'm sure Kaylee will love that episode. But uh, curious if I hang out at the train station for a little bit if the train will show up. Where's the train? It's down there. Does that mean it's going away or coming at us? Is that real time? Yeah, that clock's real. Love that. Didn't I do that already? Maybe I can go back and talk to her. Maybe we'll do that first thing next episode. Yeah, it doesn't look like the train. Is the train coming up? No, it is not. The train is going away. Over to Hennig instead. And it is midnight on my clock. Well, it's not. It's 11.59. But uh, I'll wrap things up, so... I will stay in front of... There we go. Get a nice frame shot. There we go. Uh, ladies and gents, that has been Red Dead Revisited. Thank you so much for hanging out on a Thursday evening. Um, we've been, uh, this has been a weird stream week. We initially did not have anything scheduled for today. Sorry for making this a secret stream. Uh, but in case you missed it, uh, I believe it was two days ago. Uh, it was Wednesday, September 21st was the six-month anniversary of Easy Allies. We started six months ago. And I am here doing the stream. I'm here playing, uh, one of my favorite games of all time because... We have such a tremendous amount of support on YouTube and on Twitch. And, of course, Patreon. If you don't know, go to patreon.com slash easyallies and you can support us. Um, uh, for one thing, you get the podcast early. Uh, if you uh, give us five bucks a month, uh, for, for just a dollar a month, you get a uh, Cup of Jones, the show that I do um, exclusively just for patrons. So a uh, new episode of that coming up as soon as possible. If possibly have time to shoot that this weekend. Uh, but whenever I have time to play Red Dead Redemption... Um, I get a good a good sized community coming by and saying hi and hanging out in the old west. Uh, we are we're wrapping up the story, uh, so next time we will uh, try to get some more outfits, try to get some of those challenges done, uh, try to maybe uh, uh, see little parts of this world that we haven't seen yet, and uh, maybe take things a little more a little more leisure like. Uh, and then in two weeks uh, we will start up Undead Nightmare, and I'm guessing that'll take uh, possibly two play sessions. If it takes a whole month, that'll be great. Uh, if we can maybe fill it the whole month, because there's also outfits and challenges and other things you can specifically do in Undead Nightmare, so um, looking forward to that, uh, as I have been every single time uh, I've sat down and played this game. Y'all make it so wor so wonderful. Uh, I hope you have a jolly uh, evening uh, wherever uh, you are out west or east, around the world. Good night, everybody. <laughs>